you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and make this an unconventional video. And what I mean by that is I'm going to start this video without my usual introduction. Because I was going to make a video about why Lincoln doesn't make a super sedan. Everybody else out there in the luxury sphere makes a super sedan of some kind. A car that has way more horsepower than it needs and has crazy top speeds like a supercar but has yet has the luxury of other luxury cars like say a Rolls Royce but then I came to the realization that uh, Lincoln doesn't make a sedan anymore if you've been living under a bridge like I have you probably hadn't realized that Lincoln put the MKZ and the Continental on kibosh sometime last year uh, I really wasn't paying attention to Lincoln I thought they were doing pretty well and I really try to cover supercars or cars that are so interesting that they get attention from the viewers so I kind of just didn't look at Lincoln like yo they're doing great I don't need to say anything about their cars but then I thought they don't have a super sedan why is that let's make a video about that and then I seen they don't make any sedans because, as I've been saying for I don't know how long, sedans don't sell. They really don't. At least American sedans don't sell because Mercedes, BMW, Audi, and a mess of other car manufacturers don't have problems selling their sedans. And... On a side note, is it just me or do a lot of these car manufacturers love putting the word black into their special series cars names? The Black Series, the Black Wing, Lincoln and the Black Label. It's kind of something that you really wonder why are they doing that. I actually don't know. Maybe I should make a video about that someday. Anyways, like I was saying with Lincoln, they have stopped making sedans. Actually, Ford has stopped making cars in general except for one. They have one car, and that is the Ford Mustang because that car sells. It has no problem selling. That's why they named the electric EV car after it. And I have a few theories of why people don't buy American luxury sedans anymore. And I think it's more to do the quality and brand recognition than anything because when you think uh, luxury uh, you think european bmw mercedes you don't think lincoln or cadillac because of some of the stuff they did with the quality of their cars in the late 90s and early 2000s and these companies care more about the profits than they do about the actual quality of their cars and some people just don't want to deal with that or have the stink of owning an American luxury car on them. That's just part of my theory. But I guess that's a video for another time. It's just something about American cars that people are going away from here in America. This is the crossover SUV era. And it's really sad to see that the cars in America is actually factually dying and i don't know what i'm gonna name this video it can't be called the death of the american automobile because i really didn't talk about the american automobile it's probably gonna have something to do with the fact that lincoln no longer makes cars they're making crossovers and suvs and ford is also no longer making cars well except for one and that being the mustang and it's kind of sad to see at this stage but you know things change and i guess we're gonna have to get used to the fact that one day uh we'll all remember a time that lincoln actually did make cars and be like wow i can't believe they actually did that and with that point, point, I like to bring this video to a close. So if you like the video, like the video. If you dislike the video, dislike the video. If you want to see what I got planned next, come see what I got planned next. Got a lot of store for this channel. Really want you guys to be there with me. And with that said, I'll catch you later.